National park sites are known for their preservation of nature, but other sites are more about history. I like nature better, but I like history better. No nature, no history, nature. But hey, Cabrillo National Monument has both. Let's start with the history. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. When Europe found out about all the land on the other side of the world, people set off to go explore all the parts. But 50 years later, no one had reached Western North America. They didn't know what it looked like up there, so their American maps were pretty weird. In 1542, Juan Cabrillo went to go check it out. In September, he landed in what is now San Diego. He was the first European to land on the west coast of the United States. Today, people in California still celebrate Cabrillo's arrival, and some of them reenact it. The United States declared his landing spot a national monument and placed a statue of Cabrillo at the top of the hill. Okay, great. Now we need to talk about nature. No, wait, there's still more history here. In 1850, the United States decided to build a lighthouse up on the same hill. But the light didn't go very far. Ships far out at sea couldn't see the light. So they brought in a Fresno lens, which is the most advanced lens in the world at that time. A Fresno lens bends the light so it can all travel in the same direction. This creates a much brighter beam of light. Let's put in the Fresno lens and see what happens. Yes! Now ships can see it from far away. This lighthouse would guide ships into San Diego Bay for the next 40 years. You can still see the lighthouse right next to the statue of Cabrillo. Now let's go visit the monument. Hey wait, what about nature? On the other side of the hill, you can find tide pools. Over the course of a day, the water level of the ocean goes up and down. This is called a tide. On some shores, when the tide goes down, there are still some wet areas of land, like down here. These are called tide pools. You can find all sorts of sea creatures in the tide pools, starting with starfish and crab, sea anemone, chitin, sea snail, nudibranch and the sea here. Let's go visit the monument. Welcome to Cabrillo National Monument. At the visitor center, you can learn all about Cabrillo, his journey, and his boat. This is the San Salvador. Right outside, you can see a giant statue of Juan Cabrillo. You also can see all of San Diego from up here. Just up the hill, there's the historic lighthouse. The keeper and his family would live here. Now let's see the Fresno lens up at the top. Hey, we can't get up there. It's okay, you can see the lens in another building next door. Now let's go down to the tide pools. We went to the tide pools when the tide was low, so we could find sea life. During high tide, this whole thing would be underwater. We're going to try to find 10 different sea creatures. Do you think we can do it? Let's go find out. That's a sea anemone. This is called an owl limpet. Hey look, it's a shore crab. Crabs come in all different shapes and sizes. I saw a crab. Wow, it's a Hopkins Rose Nudibranch. 
They are so pretty. What's that? Yes, it's a chitin. And here are some rough limpets. This is called a whelk. Here's a little snail. It's some little fish underwater. It's a sea hare. It kind of looks like a blob out of water. That's it, we did it. Keep looking and you can find even more. See you on the next part.